Greg Campos is still okay. here. Wait, and, and who are you? You know who I am. I'm James Thomas from Channel ah. 7. I met you a year oh, ago. Man. 12 months is a long time, but our first encounter with Gui Campos is not something you'd forget easily. Do you have any idea what you're doing to me and to my parents and to my mom? Your name is Gui but Campos. You're, you're a notorious spy. When the, the Indonesians I'm invaded, like you worked with the Indonesians. You lied. And now you're here. You, you, maybe you. No, no. He killed an innocent, defenseless 11-year-old child. You hit the boy until he died. You lied. I called the doctor. The doctor was too late. I want this guy to pay for what he did to my brother. I want him to rot in hell. A year later, Gui is not in hell. She He's in Australia. She is petrified by your presence. Let, let me go. Gui? Let me go. Gui, is that how you treat people? Is that what you did to Joanna's brother? When you bashed him? You even admitted on our cameras that you bashed that boy. Didn't you, Gui? You are alleged to have committed the most serious crimes in society. And you are still here. Do you still claim your innocence? He enjoys the generosity of our charities. He shops in our malls and strolls with his wife, without, it would seem, a care in the world. Why don't you not go to the police? Gui, you went to Why the police. Why you don't go to police, you? Gui. Why you don't go to police? Gui. We did go to the police. In fact, 12 months ago, we went to a lot of government agencies to alert them of Gui Campos's entry into Australia. I'm OK. Ty's OK, etc. Sandy Logan is spokesperson for the Department of Immigration. Concern over his tie is unimportant, except for its ability to serve as a metaphor for a department seemingly more concerned with image than substance. Has immigration granted Gui Campos another visa to be in Australia? That's a matter that I'm not familiar with, sorry. I can't help you on that one. Our question to Sandy was without notice, but for him to say that he's unfamiliar with Gui's visa status seems laughable. In front of me, there's a trail of correspondence to Sandy with regard to Gui Campos. And it's the same story everywhere we go. The Attorney General's Department, the police, the Minister for Home Affairs, all the way to the office of the Prime Minister. But still, no one, it seems, can give us answers of being involved in the bashing to death of an innocent 11-year-old boy. Bob Brown has asked questions in the Senate. I refer to the multiple reports aired on today tonight. So too, Senator Fielding. Gui Campos is still living freely in Australia, no less than two kilometres away from the family of the boy who he bashed to death. Still, the public are no closer to knowing when, if ever, Gui Campos will be brought to account for his alleged crimes. But it, the implication was that someone was bashed to death with the government's consent. And uh, I, if that's the case, then it seems to me the question's out of order. I really don't know if the government is going to prosecute this guy or whether the government is going to send him back. I don't know. All I know is that the guy is living around the corner from us and that's destroying us. Posing as a Today Tonight researcher, at last weekend's ALP conference, Joanna finally gained access to the government which has ignored all of her formal approaches. Excuse me, Prime Minister. Prime Minister James Thomas from Today Tonight. We just... For the Prime Minister, our approach, it seems, is a bit of a yawn. For Joanna, it's deadly serious. I wanted the Prime Minister to give me some answers. I want answers to whether or not they're able to protect me and my family from completely being destroyed by this monster again. Can the Minister explain why still no action has been taken to bring this man to justice? Uh, I will see if I can provide anything further to you. That was more than a month ago, but still no answers. No, no, because you still haven't responded to the question from Senator Fielding in the Senate about the death of oh, Joanna's I'll brother. Can you, can you have a chat to her? Guy Campos represents the people responsible for the murder of 183,000 East Timorese. To that end, senior columnist for the Daily Telegraph, Piers Ackerman, says we should demand answers from our politicians. And bear in mind, these people have all been elected to office, and now they, they're hiring uh, these people to run interference for them to, in fact, shield them uh, from the public who they're meant to be representing. The people that Piers refers to are the League of Advisers and media spin doctors employed by the government to massage the message. 
Seen here, two of the best, advisor to the PM, Lachlan Harris, and the ALP's media manager for the conference, Michael Salmon. It's not, I just don't expect it to be, like, jumped when we're actually doing really good work with you guys. That's right. And the Prime Minister's advisor has no right to feel indignant. We formally requested interviews with the Prime Minister on the 25th of June. No response. Again, we emailed Lachlan on the 22nd of July. No response. Joanna wrote to the Prime Minister. No response. Michael. No, don't, James. Look, don't give me Michael. Upset with our questions on campus, they resorted to threats against me and the show. And I'm telling you, and, you know, it's up to you entirely what you take away from this, that if I ever have any sort of influence over any access that you guys might or might not have, then I have to take this sort of stuff into consideration. And, you know, that's all it is, and I'm sure that you understand that. Can I have a quick chat to you about... I, I spoke to you about the Gui Campos case. On the 6th of May, I personally briefed the Deputy Prime Minister on Gui Campos when she was at Channel 7. She promised to look into why the investigation was dragging on. I didn't hear anything. On the 28th of May, I called the Deputy PM's office for an update. Miss Gillard's advisor, Kimberly Gardner, said there was no update. The deputy PM, she said, was very busy. This is really important. Yeah, we're just on it. Could you just do me the favour of chasing it up, Deputy Prime Minister, and getting back to our office? Because it's, it's dragging on. You know, I'm sorry to resort to this, but it's getting... You, no one from your office returned our calls. I am trying to get someone from the government, in particular the responsible minister, to comment and tell us where the investigation is going because Joanna's life has become a misery. Finally, a minister with the courage to stop and listen. Tanya Plibersek took out a good half hour to listen to Joanna's story. She listens and yeah. I know that she cares. It was a good omen. Shortly after, I received an interview with the man currently responsible for the Campos matter, Minister for Home Affairs, no, Brendan O'Connor. Look, can I firstly say to you, James, the government of course takes all um, allegations and with respect to war crimes very seriously. But how long is it going to take? What's holding this up? These are very uh, complicated matters, uh, as you will, would know, James. The uh, war crimes themselves are, are not easy to prosecute. But, Minister, what's left to do? Seen here, federal agents have collected our tapes. On them, you'll find Gui confessing to bashing Joanna's brother court documents showing Gui's conviction for torturing a man to death, eyewitnesses, torture victims and people that served alongside Gui in the military and former Australian defence analysts confirming Gui's role with the Indonesian military. I, I wanna go to where you? On character grounds at the very least, Gui is an illegal immigrant. But still, the minister goes on with the tired line that the investigation is ongoing. Can I say in relation to that the AFP is continuing its investigations. I, I think that the, the current government has established a record now for calling for investigations when they're trying to kill off uh, active inquiries. We got no closer to determining from the government when this investigation might result in action. So you, you say that you're still innocent, do you? Today, tonight, you I've struggled to get answers from the Prime Minister. Maybe he'll listen to you. If you want to voice your concern over Gui Campos, email the PM's advisor, lachlan.harris at pm.gov.au. But be quick, we can't guarantee the PM's office will tolerate this form of direct democracy for very long.